Hello artists! We are learning about insects and I wanted to read a little bit from this book before we do a drawing together. So this is Insects Do the Strangest Things by Leonora and Arthur Hornblow. Illustrations by Michael K. Frith. Turning to page 20. Read along with me. Lady Luck. Its real name is the ladybird beetle, but most people call it the ladybug. Many people think it brings good luck, and it does bring good luck to people who grow grapefruit and oranges and lemons. A ladybug is small, but it eats a lot. It eats the aphids and other insects that ruin the fruit trees. People who live where ladybugs gather are lucky too. Sometimes thousands and thousands of ladybugs gather in one place. People fill baskets and bottles and bags with them. Then they sell them to fruit growers. The fruit growers turn them loose on the fruit trees. Ladybugs come to the same gathering places year after year. You may know the poem, Ladybug, Ladybug, Fly Away Home. But we really want the ladybugs to stay. The world is lucky to have them. All right, we are ready to do a drawing of a ladybug and environment. You are going to need a placemat to protect your furniture. You could use a piece of newspaper or just a magazine, anything you can find around the house. You need a piece of paper and a pencil at the very least. You could also use crayons and markers with me, but that is optional. So first step, I'm going to write my name on the artist spot, the bottom right. And then so I have a border, I'm going to draw a line that goes all the way around very close to the edge, doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Uh, the thickness of your finger. We're going to make sure all of our lines and color, if we had color, stay inside that. So first things first, a ladybug is an insect and all insects have three parts, the head, the thorax, and abdomen. All insects have antennae and wings, and they have six legs, three on each side. So we're going to start with those ideas. In the center of your paper, draw a oval. It can be bigger or smaller than mine. That is the abdomen. Then on top of that, make a curve for your thorax. And on top of that, another curve that gets a little bit smaller for the head. Because we are looking down on this ladybug, we see both sides. You can draw the two antennae on top of the head, two eyes. And then because it is symmetrical, the same on both sides, let's split the body in half. These are the wings. And then you get to design how many spots your ladybug has. What you do on one side, you must do on the other side. On the left, on the right, on the left, on the right. Some ladybugs have a special spot that goes on both sides at the same time. Maybe you have one of those. Maybe you have some bigger spots than me. Maybe you have lots more. The spot design is up to you. Just make sure both sides are the same symmetry. Then we're going to add our six legs. One, two, three on the left side. One, two, three on the right. There you go. There's our top view of the ladybug. Let's make a profile side view. Down here on what will become our ground, let's make a frown rainbow curve for the body. 
and then to the right a smaller curve that's the abdomen first the thorax and now a smaller one for the head in the front of your head make your eye and two antenna then so we are drawing the body bottom make a curve to connect those lines another curve and another curve we're going to draw the three legs down and you might see the other side legs one two three six total I'm thinking that my thorax is a little flat looking so I'm gonna add on to the bottom to make it look more round we're only seeing one side of the ladybug spots so design your spots did you know that not all ladybugs are red some are orange some are yellow I learned all right so I told you we'd be adding an environment for our ladybugs. That's what's next. Ladybugs, like we learned in the story, protect the fruit trees. They eat those little aphids that try to eat the fruit and destroy the trees. So ladybugs are helpful. Let's make a tree trunk. This is a pretty big ladybug maybe it's a small tree and here are the roots coming down to the ground so I can show perspective this is really really up close I'm going to draw a ground line and I'm going to draw a tree that is farther away so it is smaller trees grow up and out like the letter Y and you can draw some jagged lines for the leaves so far away we don't see a whole lot of details draw some fruits do you have round oranges or grapefruits or do you have oops do you have lemons that are more like an oval with points on the end sort of like a football so decide what type of fruit is in your tree draw those fruits and then maybe you have some room to draw even further away some details in your background where are your ladybugs protecting these fruit trees maybe you have some room for grass or other plants and maybe you can add lots more ladybugs is a very lucky fruit farmer he is protected maybe you have some small baby ladybugs maybe some of your ladybugs are flying I'm going to show you how to do that it's an upside down letter U and then a curve and a curve this means the wings are spread there's the abdomen the thorax the head the antennas the legs don't forget the spots and if you want to show where that ladybug was flying from some artists use those lines oops no spots on that ladybug Missed some details, better go back and fill them in. All right, so I have a pretty interesting composition. I'm gonna show you another composition, and this one already has the color added to it. So once again, we're showing space up close, very large, and then this ground line shows that it's getting farther away and even further yet teeny tiny houses and trees in the distance so we have the background the midground and the foreground these ladybugs are almost like they're under a microscope they're larger than life so you can compose your ladybug in environment however you would like as long as you're showing they're protecting the fruit trees so if you have markers i like to use markers for outlining 
remember not all ladybugs are red, so have some orange ones, have some yellow ones. Oh, my kitty's saying hi. Kitty, that's cheapy. And you can outline your tree and your grass. Markers are a little bit darker than crayons and they help us with contrast. You may add marker outlines on any of your pencil lines. I'm not going to do all of them to save some time. And I wanted to show you a little trick with your crayons. Crayons need a lot of credit. They can do amazing things with practice. So to make this out of here. Make this ladybug look 3D. I'm going to be pressing hard by the edges. This is the shadow of the abdomen. And then on top right here is where the light hits. It's the highlight. So I'm not going to press as hard to give it the illusion that it is round. So try that. Try pressing down hard with your crayon by the edge and pressing softer on the top. You can also do that when you're filling in your tree trunk like this sample. I'm coloring the same direction as my longest line and to show that the tree trunk is a cylinder I press down harder by the edges so that the brown is darker and I press softly here in the center so it looks like it's coming toward us. Same thing with your oranges. Light where the highlight is, pressing down harder around the edge. So you might want to try those coloring tricks. Thank you for learning about insects and creating with me.